Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News. Well, since the last news video, which was yesterday, a lot, a lot of big news has dropped. Today in news, we got the announcement of the premium DLC, which includes not one, not two, but three brand new crops. Plus, Creative Mesh may be bringing back an old favorite, the Straw Harvest DLC. And Tesla List is here, and there's 33 mods on that list. Remember, before we get to that news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll the intro. Let's see this news. We'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out. Just be We're taking our shot. Walking back. Okay, so here we go with that first piece of news for today, which, of course, it is going to be about that big news drop, which was about the new DLC coming out, the premium expansion and the premium edition. That's going to be coming out very soon. Of course, this will be coming out November 14th to PC and consoles. If you guys are interested in getting it and you're on PC right now, you guys can click on the link in the description and get 5% off. And it also helps out the channel. Anyways, what does the premium expansion include? It includes three new crops, carrots, parsnips, and red beets. Brand new maps, Linka, which is a central European map, new factories and production chains, over 35 new and specialized machines, four new brands, so there's gonna be 15 brands overall. So first, let's talk about the new map and vegetables. The new agricultural environment resembles the very landscapes of Central European countries. Built on rich soils, the verdant fields between ponds and rivers are perfect for putting down roots of crops and businesses. More importantly, Salink is home to a muster of storks who nest in the village are seen flying gracefully over the region. So it looks like we have some new animals actually on the map. Well, you know, to look at instead of just crows all the time. Carrots, parsnips, and red beets are added to the list of plants you can grow to grow your agricultural empire. Also has new factories and production chains are also included, of course, producing nourishing soup and tin food to process the vegetables. Plus, it's also going to include potato chips. Now, let's talk about some new brains and machines. To meet the requirements of the new crops, you operate specialized machines to sow, harvest, and transport. Before sowing, you have to prepare the seabed for vegetable cultivation and create large volume ridges. Here are some examples. Create the ridges with the Grimmy GF400 and the GF800. Plant the crops with the Cavernland Minier Nova series and harvest them with the self-propelled and towed harvesters by DeWolf before using WIFO equipment for transport. So you can use authentically digitalized with more details than ever. The premium expansion features more than 35 vehicles and implements. Manufacturers D-Wolf, Gornick, Agro, and Wifo, I think that's how you said that, debut in the series, while Bedner, Fiat, Grimmy, Cavernland, Samaz, and others extend the garage. So that is the premium expansion news right there. Remember, if you're interested in getting this and you are on PC, you guys can actually pre-order this right now and get 5% off. Use the club's affiliate link down in the description. Also, if you're on console, I don't know if actually the uh, pre-order is up yet, but I'm pretty sure it will be very soon. Okay, now let's get to the regular pieces of news for today. The first one we have is from 82 Studio, the International S1800 Plus. Modification is now finished and sent back to Julian F. Modding, and then of course he's gonna be sending it off to Giants. Here are some screenshots right here during development. It is now going to be compatible compatible with the TLX X2 attachments, the TLX Service Pack attachments, and the TLX Mount Samez Snow Blade. So can't wait for this huge update right here. And then now let's talk about some news from Oxygen Davis. Some last minute changes to the map before it was sent to Giants was to increase the fruits on the map. The map now contains four new crops, linseed, field beans, rye, and alfalfa. He has made all new textures for all the fruits here you can actually see the rye and alfalfa in action on these pictures. Okay, now the last piece of news we have for today is a huge one. This is from Creative Mesh. It says, the wait will soon be over. Who of you recognizes the scent? And all I did was put a picture right here of some straw bales. To me, this looks like the straw harvest is coming back to Farming Simulator. This wouldn't be a surprise if this is actually gonna be a DLC because we do have a surprise pack, remember? So what do you guys think about this? And would you guys like to see the straw harvest coming back to Farming Simulator 22? Okay, now with that out of the way, let's get to the testing list for today. There is 33 mods on this testing list. And yes, they do all say PC. This does not mean that it's only PC mods. Just means they're in the first stage of testing, which is PC, second stage console, third is release. So let's go over some notable ones we have on here. We have the John Deere 6M, 
the John Deere 7030 Premium Series, the John Deere Bell Spear Pack, a few lizards right there, including the Lizard Rumbler Van, uh, East Finland, New Jersey, USA. Uh, we have French Tags Pack, the Novacat X8 ED, Monet Workshop, and Green Gold Farm. Okay, number mods we're going to be testing is 129. Current wait time is 10 work days. Well, right there was all the news and testing list for today. It actually was a huge news day. Which one are you more excited for? The Stroll Harvest or the Premium DLC? Let me know in the comments section below. Today, I will also try to get out the Cord Farm's first look video if I have enough time. Also, remember that all the links to the news and testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button to stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator and make sure that notification bell is on so you miss any of the videos here on the channel. Well, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.